Hi Pisces, welcome to this reading. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Um, you might find it resonates more though if Pisces is your moon or rising sign. I'm hearing um, something about a fish. Um, could be Pisces energy. Oh my goodness. Do you know what I'm getting with this two of cups? So we know that with a page of cups, I'm sure many, many of you know anyhow, um, that we have a young... Um, sort of preteen teenager holding a cup and there's a fish in it um what i'm sort of getting here with, with the image of the fish coming through is that your person wants to to give you something you know the fish is jumping out of the cup and if if it was to jump out of one of these cups it could go straight into another so the fish can go into bear with me the fish the fish can jump into water and survive so the fish representing your connection the emotion this this you know love or the mutual feeling between you your person wants um it, it, i suppose both of you to nurture this for this to be able to grow in the, the page of cups you know the fish it jumps out of a cup and maybe it dies you know it lands in the air or on the floor but but no there's something here about reciprocity i'll just show you we have the knight of swords on the back so your person is very eager actually to to kind of to share this with you to let you know this whether it's through this reading or to tell you um in the 3d in person well not necessarily in person but you know as in directly to you through a message maybe in person that kind of thing okay so we have virgo energy the hermit this is something they've been thinking about for a while um, and thinking very seriously very um intensely about this too Um, I'm also hearing basketball. I think we've had basketball before. Okay, we have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. And we have, oh, we have a few. We have the Four of Wands in reverse. We have the Four of Swords reverse. We have the um, High Priestess. But what my, you know, my mouth, oh my God, I cannot believe it. What my mouth is trying to say is the Queen of Pentacles. And look who we have on the back. Oh, that's, oh, chills. That is insane. Okay, something's going on here with the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this is somebody else, not you, but it could be. I mean, let's see how it plays out. We do have the Four of Wands here. So there could be a foundation of marriage um, that your person's been thinking about. It's almost, you know, if that's the situation, there's no love between them and this other person. And that's something that's playing on their mind. Um, if it's not that, it could be work. You know, um, they're saying, I need to leave this job. It's making me miserable. It's in the way of our connection. See how this this hermit, this is your person's energy, whether they're a Virgo or not. I feel they've been very quiet, whether completely or very quiet in terms of talking about your connection and where they're at. Um, but they're facing you. Um, there's something, something quite established that they're saying, I have to leave that. Not just even I have to. I have to leave it for my well-being, but I want to leave it because with that Ace of Cups in reverse, the love has either gone or it didn't take off in the way that they thought it would, whether it's, you know, love for a person, love for a career, love for a particular position within a company, or maybe it's um, their beliefs. Some sort of structure is is no longer serving them. Wow. OK. Oh, I cannot believe this. That is crazy. We've got um, cancer underneath. I'll put this here. OK, let's keep going. Mm nine of swords yep queen of wands there's definitely someone else you may be a woman or a man watching doesn't really matter um but we have you're coming out as this queen of wands so this is an energy of someone who is um very desirable very attractive because they're physically you know in your mind or rather in your person's mind you are physically to them perfect in terms of what they like what they're looking for um, but also the energy of this of this queen of wands. She's vibrant. She's warm, um, but she's she's very strong as well. She's independent. She's intuitive. She's um, she's comfortable with herself. You know, someone who is content and happy with themselves. You can tell that. You can sense it. It radiates out of them. And um, your person. This is how they look at you. You might be saying, I don't think I'm those things. But this is you know this is their message to you. This is how they see you. We have the six of wands in reverse. Yeah, they're in something. Something is already underway here. Um, it's not working out. It's either, I keep getting the message, it, 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 it hasn't gone how they thought. Um, maybe they thought, I'll take a chance on this, um, and I'm sure something will come of this, or the situation will turn around with this queen of pentacles, but it didn't. Um, what's actually developing is their feelings for you. 
maybe, you know, for some of you, maybe they thought there's um, Aquarius energy on the back. So maybe they thought, even though they felt guided to you, drawn to you, that if they pulled away, if they invested in something else, their feelings for you would fade, but that didn't happen. It could be they were already doing whatever this other thing is here, maybe seeing things a certain way, working a particular job, that maybe they were already in a relationship or marriage and they thought, well, they're not going to leave that because it's, you know, they've already put in time and effort and the feelings for you either um, are fleeting or maybe they didn't know how you felt about them and, you know, all of that. But actually now they're realising it doesn't matter how much time, effort, money has been given to whatever this other situation is with this Queen of Pentacles because it's, it's you they're being drawn to. Okay. So let's have a look at this two of cups. See what we oh. Um you just every time I'm blown away by these readings. You would think I would I would be used to it by now, but it's crazy every time. Look at this. This is exactly the message I was just saying. Four of Wands in reverse, Queen of Pentacles, that's up and running, but it's miserable. With you, we have the Two of Cups. This is an energy of building from the ground up, starting a project together, beginning a relationship as, as friends, creating that solid foundation. But look what they're hoping for. They want this, this sort of um, structure with you, this Four of Wands. So they're saying quite clearly there's something here they want to leave, that they need to leave in order to build with you. And these three cards, even, you know, the Four of Swords, they're thinking about this very, very seriously. My fear is there's too much thinking. It's good, definitely, that they're taking it seriously, 100%, but there needs to be a bit of communication because they have such big um, hopes and wishes. The feelings here between you are mutual, but I, I don't think they're telling you. I mean, great, it's good as coming through in the reading, but I'm sure you'd like to hear it from them as well. Okay, let's see what this is. Two of Wands. Yeah, again, a card of... Um, planning, sometimes procrastinating, thinking, um, trying to build yourself up because you're about to make a very courageous move and it, it's daunting. You know, you know that you have to move forward, you have to move on because you're unhappy, you've become stagnant, you know there's nothing there for you anymore, you know, wherever you are, you need to move forward, you need to grow, but you have no idea what it's going to look like when you step forward to grow, you know, to explore. Okay, let's, oh, I was going to say, let's have a look at this line of swords. See, king of pentacles in reverse. They are not happy with whatever this is. This queen of pentacles, I kind of feel this is an energy of someone who's a little bit oblivious. So, you're, this person could know, whoever they represent in your person's life, that your person is not thrilled about this situation or this connection or this relationship, but... It's very possible that your person has felt that way for a long time and yet things have carried on, you know, things have been ticking over. So this Queen of Pentacles is, is paying no attention, saying, well, they've been unhappy for ages, I've been unhappy for ages, and yet we still live together or we still work together, whatever it is. But um, they're unaware that your person coming up as this King of Pentacles is, um, is, is saying, well, maybe now is the time to do something about this. But it's causing them a lot of stress with that Nine of Swords. They're really worried, really anxious. It's going to be a really huge shift. Um, and it's one that other people, I'm, I'm sensing, are going to see and know about as well. Um, with the Four of Wands, that can talk about community. So maybe it's going to impact friends, family, co-workers, children, you know, that sort of thing as well. Other people will know. Um, but your person, as we know, is doing lots of deep thinking, they're being very introspective, they're really consulting their higher selves, their intuition, their gut feeling, which is perfect, but I think they could use someone to lean on here, you know, some like um, a trusted friend, if they feel that they're not ready to come forward and tell you about this yet, they kind of need to get out of their own head a little bit, it's almost that there's too much thinking, they've already, you know, they already know what they want to do and what the next steps are. But it's, it's a scary step, exactly. Five of Wands, the Hierophant. Yeah, the second they step away from this Queen of Pentacles, from this contract, whatever it represents, or this tradition, um, all hell is going to break loose, is what I just heard. So other people are going to, to get in the way of this and sort of make it difficult. But do you know what? The Five of Wands is almost a very small, fleeting energy. Um, let me think of an example. Okay, let's say... Um, 
someone's having a dinner party and I'm a guest and I don't tell anyone beforehand that I'm a vegetarian and I turn up and all they've cooked really for sort of like the main course is various kinds of meat and then there's a moment where everyone's like oh my god what are we gonna do now you should have told us and then we just figure something out and we move on you know it, it's it's not a huge energy it's everyone panicking talking over each other and then it settles down so I think your person's fear is worse than um than you know the reality of this i'm not saying it wouldn't be how can i explain it it wouldn't be a thing in the moment but it would pass reasonably quickly things would settle down and look just to kind of back that up we have the nine of swords in reverse so spirit saying yes your person is is worrying a little bit too much here okay so is there anything from this queen of pentacles oh my god see this person doesn't see it coming the tower in reverse Ooh, okay, what else? The Emperor in reverse. There could be an Aries here. Did I say Taurus? We've got Taurus energy. Yeah, this person is the Emperor in reverse. They know. They know the situation, just like your person. It's not a happy one, whatever that situation is. But also they know that staying in this situation, they're getting their way. They're getting what they want. The Emperor in reverse is concerned about themselves. This um, Queen of Pentacles figure might also feel that they have some kind of control over your person. Um, so that, that's why they're not expecting a tower moment or an ending or a big change. Because as far as they're concerned, they're the one with the power. Anything else, please? Three of coins. Yeah, they think everything is, is ticking over nicely. Okay, no one's happy here, but so what when finances are okay? They still have the home or the business arrangement is working, you know? Well, your person, your um, your king of pentacles here is saying it's not. It's not okay anymore because my, my heart, my passion is elsewhere. Am I missing out? What is this? Is this the page of cups? See? Yeah, exactly. Poking out at the back. And that's what I was saying with this fish. It's jumping out. And if your person just sits here and doesn't offer you a cup or doesn't allow themselves to receive your cup, the fish, the love, this connection, it will just wither away and, and maybe, you know, die. That's what they're worried about. I'm not saying it will, that your feelings, you know, will, will die away. But it is a concern for your person that, you know, they're taking too long, that they might lose this or, or lose you. Wow, okay, let's get some channeled messages and see what's going on. Okay, so we'll start with these and then we'll move into the cards looking at um, some of the practical aspects of your person's situation. Okay. Okay, messages please, my viewers. Signs are plaguing me. Yep, we have that star card coming out. And also the chariot. The chariot follows the star. So spirit, remember, and their higher self that they're listening to is, is really encouraging your person, saying, come on, it's a scary transition, but you can do this. You know it's right for you at this time. I'm, just, I'm being drawn again to this queen of pentacles who honestly has no idea. It, it's arrogance. I just heard the word arrogance. Okay wish i could change your family and or friends so this person might be worried that your close friends or your family might not like them um that they, they could have fears um you know there could be valid fears maybe you know they've said before if they know this person or it could be um that they they think they're not your usual type or something like that or there's a very big difference in terms of um background religion culture age something like that there's a fear here um from your person that they won't be accepted by uh your family and friends i feel the same yeah two of cups energy exactly and this is something they've yet to tell you never mind you know the the future they they're envisioning here or where they hope this connection can go they kind of need to tell you that they in some cases have feelings as well if you reach out or respond Okay, so for some of you, if you were watching this for a sign, you know, should I reach out? Your person's saying they'll respond, but, you know, obviously it's a general reading. So please do sit for a moment quietly and check in with yourself and see if you feel comfortable with that. If you feel that that message is, is really for you, saying yes, they will respond. And, you know, ask yourself, how will you feel if they do? And if they don't, will you still feel like it was the right thing for you to reach out? Okay. What else, please? 
we have Let's Just Be Friends. Okay, so they may have said something like that to you before when they were worried that they wouldn't be they wouldn't be able to fit in with you and your life and things just seemed too complicated, too difficult. And that's one of the reasons now why there's a lot of fear and worry and regret, you know. Um, is this fish going to jump out of it up and die? Can they, you know, can this connection be sustained? Because for all they know, you feel like they don't feel the same. They haven't told you. In fact, they may actually have said to you, um, <laughs> they may have said to you, I don't feel the same. Let's just be friends. Look at this. Expect a miracle. I actually forgot that this, this card was in here because it has never come out. Um, so you can see. And some of you might be watching this thing, well, it would be a miracle because things have stayed as they are for months, years. And um, and Spirit's saying, well, you never know. This Queen of Pentacles would agree with you. Things have stayed the same. What's going to change? Unbeknownst to that person, there's going to be a towel moment. Okay. Overpower me. So this is someone who um, at times could feel like the weight of the world is on their shoulders and... You know, this is someone very independent, but they secretly wish at times that they could just sit down quietly and be bossed about so that they could, you know, someone else can make the decision so that they could have a rest. You know, and they might be feeling like this transition, this change is so huge. They want to just be, they in a way wanted to be forced upon them, you know, to get the ball rolling. So maybe they are hoping for a tower moment. We have rage. Ooh. And we have body language. There's a lot going on within this person that they're not saying. And this message about body language is them asking you to pay attention to the things you're seeing, the things you're feeling and noticing, not so much what they're saying or what they're not saying. Also, if um, with this card, if you've been seeing things on social media, online, and you're thinking, is that for me? I feel that would be a yes. Or if you, you know this person, um, you know, and they live close by and you see each other, that kind of thing. And maybe you're bumping into them more regularly and you're wondering well they know every Thursday I'm at this place at this time are they turning up to see me or am I being a bit egocentric spirits saying no um, pay attention to what they're doing here to their behaviors because it's relevant okay so yeah let's have a look let's get some more insight here what's going on so these would be some of the um the, the situations, the circumstances in the 3D that your person's really focusing on right now that are relevant in some way or another to your connection here and they want you to know about this. So let's have a look. We have owns a home. There's so much that always comes through with these about home. So this could be someone saying one of the things they're going to have to do is sell their house, buy a new house. Um, the home where they're living could be very important at this time. We have alcohol. So maybe they um, are kind of trying to numb themselves a little bit. It doesn't have to just be with alcohol, you know, but, but that could be a way. Yeah, dedicated to a hobby. So for some, it might be drinking too much. For others, it might be that they've thrown themselves into um, a hobby or work even. We have early riser. So this could be someone who's got a, well, as we saw, very busy, got a lot to do. They also might be having problems sleeping. You know, the nine of swords, often this is, um, you can't get to sleep. You don't get to sleep until very, very late. And then you wake up early and, and you know, you're, you've got too much sort of stress um, and worrisome thoughts. We have in a relationship. Now that could be romantic, it could be, like I said, a work relationship, it could, I just had a relationship with God, so maybe for some of you this is a very religious person you're dealing with, and they might be judging themselves, you know, for some reason they might be looking at your connection and saying, no, that's not something I can do, They may, that's what they may have been saying, trying to friend zone you, but actually their heart is speaking very loudly, and now they're kind of, um, you know, having a little bit of a battle within themselves, we have employed... So own a home, employee, they might want you to see them as very responsible, grounded. They want you to know that they're very capable of building a foundation for you and for the both of you. We have non-smoker. We have lives alone. Yeah, so for some of you, they, they're saying, I'm one of the things I'm considering is making a change here in terms of my living situation. Yeah, see, rents a home. It's so funny how these two always come out together, owns a home and rents a home. So they could be living somewhere temporarily, um, or they're saying, look, I'm going to have to move out, leave this relationship, live alone for a while, rent somewhere in the meantime. You know, 
take that as it resonates for you but there's definitely something here and we have a relationship in the middle so there is a relationship romantic or rather wise you know work family or whatever um this person they've got to change some things around this and it really impacts their 3d environment and they are doing it they you know they have some escapist tendencies here to try and cope okay but we know that's not all the time because with the um the hermit and the high priestess and the four of swords they are thinking very clearly about this and quite a lot as well oh we have taurus so double taurus energy because we have the um uh, hierophant as well so you could be Taurus, they could be, you could have it somewhere in your chart. We have Shy, so this is someone who might hold a lot in, keep a lot to themselves, from you, you know, about their feelings, but also from others as well. We have Feminine Masculine Balance, so this is something they may recently have been working through, you know, um, with that Feminine Balance here, allowing themselves to listen to their intuition, to listen to what's going on in their heart space. They might also be trying to say that they feel that you balance each other out perfectly. Um, we could also have with the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, some Twin Flame energy here. We have Secretive. So you may feel like some, you know, you may want sometimes for this person to have secrets. What's going on? What are they thinking? Because they're quite shy. They're not very forthcoming. Um, but I don't see anything nasty or malicious, at least yet. <laughs> we have lazy. Okay. Um, well, I mean, maybe they consider themselves lazy or they like to have lazy days occasionally because I really don't feel or see that this is a lazy person. In fact, I think they could do with more time to sit down and relax. I wonder if someone has told them they're lazy. Yeah, see, masculine. I did feel that it was the feminine energy that they've been working on balancing out. I actually am feeling that in the past, your person has had someone quite mean saying to them, you need to work more or you need to work harder. Maybe they grew up in an environment in which they were taught that, you know, having any time to rest or indulge in a hobby was being lazy. So they've always been driving and pushing themselves. Um, but that's something that actually um, I think they've worked out now, which is good. We, yeah, see, sneaky, shy, see, <laughs> shy, secretive, and sneaky. I don't, I, I still don't think it's a, a bad energy here. I think sometimes they just might come across as sneaky because they're not very, um, you know, they, they don't easily express themselves. And maybe there's a lot that you want to hear from them that they're not saying. We have a dreamer, yeah. So someone who kind of gets stuck in their heads. I'm seeing that um, two of wands energy now, you know, saying, okay, I'm ready to, to take this step. And they're thinking of all the ways it could go, um, all the sort of futures they could possibly have with you. And spirit's like, come on, we're, we're showing you all these signs because we want you to, to take that step now, not just dream about it. And we have peaceful okay yeah this seems like a very sort of on the surface anyway this person comes across as liking their routine being very peaceful um keeping themselves to themselves you know hard worker actually underneath there's a lot more going on um there's actually you no know, we saw that card about rage there's a, a feeling of they, they know they've been done an injustice they know um spirit was telling me as well that there's rage towards themselves because there are things out there that they want that they've not been reaching for, and this connection is one of those things. Okay. So they could be quite, you know, hard on themselves as well, telling themselves, well, you should be braver, you should be stronger. Okay. So let's have a look then. That's some final messages here. Final messages, please, Spirit, from this person to my view. I miss you regardless of how things seem. Yeah, so this isn't someone to, um, to tell you that they miss you. I really feel for some of you, this person has not even told you how much they like you or how much they love you. Um, and if there's a separation, you might be thinking, based on how they were when they were around you, that they don't even... They've literally forgotten that you exist and they're saying, actually, no, I, I daydream, I fantasise about you a lot. I see a little part of you in everyone I meet and I think that's also, you know, spirit with the signs reminding a person that they need to take action now. 
I'm in a much better headspace now. Yeah, and I do think they are. You know, they've been working on themselves, balancing out their energy, asking themselves, am I carrying beliefs that are mine? Am I doing things that I want to do? Or am I just, you know, on autopilot? Am I, am I um, just regurgitating what I've seen or what other people have made me believe or, or told me? Okay, I'm, mm, I'm trying to think of what I want to say to you. So this person does have every intention of speaking to you again. Um, that message, of the, the card rather, that said, if you reach out, I'll respond. I almost think spirit might be saying a little nudge, a prompt could help this person because they seem to be a little bit stuck at the moment in this cycle of saying, well, I want to reach out. What should I say? I want to reach out. What should I say? You know, spirit's like, oh my God, come on, <laughs> just reach out. So if, if you want to, if it feels right, I think it's it's okay to, um, you know, drop them a message or something like that. I just got sidetracked. Yeah, so I don't think they gave you as much time or attention as they now wish they had. They may have said to themselves, well, this can wait. They've got to go to work. They've got to take care of this. They've got to leave out. They've got to speak to this person. Um, and actually, maybe, you know, maybe... There is a disconnect now and they're wishing they didn't always push this connection to second or third place or last, you know. I was reminded of your scent recently, so, um, you know, if you haven't met in person and been around each other, they may have, you know, smelt your perfume or aftershave or something like that. Um, or there might be a, a particular smell that they, that reminds them of you or makes them think of you. We have songs are speaking to me, yes, more signs, music, instruments um even even you know poetry songwriting um could be important here we have i'm just doing what i have to do right now yeah and you know what that's what that queen of pentacles person is relying on the fact that your person has always taken care of their responsibilities um oh, there's, there's you know expect a miracle something has shifted and that person will not see the tower coming let's see what's on the back Ooh. Ah, oh, exactly. I should have been more honest with you about how I was feeling at the time. Yep, there is regret that they didn't speak up before and now they're saying I fully intend to speak to you to tell you but I'm a little bit stuck in my head thinking about how, what to say. How do I bring this up now after all this time? If it has been a while and I feel for some of you it has. Okay, so I will do the one question, one card reading, and I think I'm going to extend this reading and take it into Vimeo if you're interested. I'll put the link below. But if, you, if you're not sticking around for the one question, one card and heading off, um, thank you for watching. I hope this has helped you. Um, I will be back tomorrow with a bonus reading. So um, until then, take care. Okay, so for those of you sticking around for the bonus reading, the winner, let me get my notepad, the winner for today is uh, Tabea Moon, Tabea Moon, um, not sure exactly how that's pronounced, but your question is, should I stay in my home or sell it? And actually, I want to thank you for giving me a sign, because that's something I've been asking myself, and um when I, your name, well it wasn't the name, but if you, if you know how I choose the one question, one card, I put um, everybody into like a, a will, you know, like a will of names, that sort of thing. And anyway, when your question came up, I just thought, wow, well, there's my sign. So thank you for, for submitting your question. Okay, so Spirit, can you show us what's your answer here for Tabea Moon? Should they stay in their home or sell it? Please make it clear for us. Okay, let's see what we've got. Three of Wands. Okay. So I feel like this may have been something you've been thinking about for a while, however long that is in the 3D. For you internally, you may have been dreaming about this for some time. You might be feeling like there are other places out there, places you want to go, places you want to um, explore, things you want to see. It may feel like this dream, and for some reason I feel there's some an element of it being a dream, a goal, you know, rather than just a very practical decision. Um, it's been calling you, pulling you for a while, and do you see how we have the star here? And we know that, that when the star card shows up, and I know this isn't a star card, but when it does show up, it's talking about um, 
following that feeling, even if you, you don't exactly know how you're going to make it work, you can't see how everything's going to fall into place right now, but you take inspired steps and sure enough, things do fall into place, you know, one by one. Um, also the star 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 card aquarius energy there might be it might almost be like you don't want to sell your house to move down the road you want to sell your house and move abroad or move to a, a quite a different area or travel first there's something here that other people might be surprised about but i, I kind of feel spirit is saying it's it's almost like a yes you know sell your house and go and explore because it seems like that's what's pulling at you your heart has been saying it's time to to go on an adventure here so really the answer is you know what's what is that voice saying within because i feel it is saying something to you that you're very aware of we have the seven of wands yeah so there's some kind of resistance here let's see i don't know if other people would be resistant we have judgment and we have the two of wands in reverse. Is it that it's a big scary decision? I can see it being very scary here. Um, and it might feel very final, you know, judgment. It's like bringing down the axe. There's there's one situation, it, it completely firmly ends, and then there's a brand new one. And this new one, again, two of wands, but in reverse. This is you stepping out into the unknown, going on some kind of adventure. And I don't mean just, you know, it doesn't have to just be physical travel. It can be an, an internal emotional adventure but it's something that's pushing you it's testing you i feel that if you were to move you know to sell your home you would look back and say i'm so glad i i you know took that leap um but right now there's a bit of guardedness a bit of resistance because you you kind of feel it's going to be a huge thing to do um i kind of also feel i mean i do see that there's a hurry because if you say not now this feeling with this three of wands i think it's going to to be with you it's going to follow you so if not now there's going to be opportunities for you to do this later on okay anything else please yeah knight of pentacles so you might be preferring a slower more steady approach and that's fine you know whether it's quick whether it's slow whether you do it now whether you want to wait a while longer to really make sure that this feeling of, of needing to expand to make sure it's something to believe in that it doesn't disappear i think that's fine but ultimately yes or no to selling your home i think spirit saying yes it's time for you to take that next step um, in your life Okay, so I hope that's helpful. Thank you so much. Take care and uh, see you tomorrow. Bye.